Hello everybody, welcome back to the Colorado Alpine channel. Today I'm going on a hike. I'm gonna go try to do Challenger's Point and Kit Carson Peak today. We have a 214er, so. But yeah, I just left the truck. Passed a runner coming up and he just passed me again. He's booking it. But uh busy trailhead today so I had to park down the road you can see cars parked along the way I'll show you the trailhead the trailhead is busy today I was not expecting that okay here we are Willow Lake trailhead busy parking lot I think a lot of people like to camp at the lake so lake's about five miles in and you don't have too much longer to Challenger's Point, really, like two and a half miles, so. No. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, here we go. This is what we will be using. The Willow Lake Trail. So we'll go up to above the lake, above the waterfall, we'll traverse up here drop onto the back side and then kind of climb up to Challenger's Point and then dip off back around here and then back up Kit Carson Mountain. All right, just signed in to the trailhead. Always a good thing to do, just in case you don't come back out. Somebody knows that you're in here. But uh, that's the South Crestone Trail 870, South Crestone Lake. We want to go to Willow Lake, so we're going to go 865. We're going to take a ride at this first fork here and then cross the creek. Got the sun breaking through the trees behind me. I'm almost to the top of this ridge. Okay. It's hard to see because the sun. I hope I can block it. But up through that valley right there is where we're going. It's where the lake is, and we'll take a right and we'll head kind of up towards that thing to challenge you. getting close to the lake and uh, I was looking around on all these hillsides and big cliffs back up behind me. Caught a little bit of movement up there. There's some sheep. So not above this little thing but kind of up there. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. I can see one's butt from here but yeah I saw a couple sheep running across here. That's cool. See so they're right up there. Oh, you can see this little white speck like right above my finger there. That's one of their butts. It looks like there's one up, up above that boulder too. That boulder right in the center of the screen. Oh, there you go. You can see that one butt moving right down to the left of that boulder in the middle of the screen. That's one of the cool things about hiking and doing 14ers is you get to see some wildlife sometimes. Neato. Okay, no camping or livestock beyond this point. We got Rocky Mountain Field Institute here. Bunch of guys camping, ladies camping. Not sure what they're doing, but getting out and enjoying the public lands. All right, made it to Willow Lake in just about two and a half hours. 
when you get to this point, you don't want to go down to the shore of the lake. So uh, follow the sign. You want to go to the left, work your way around the lake, and up above the lake on the waterfalls back there. And then go back up to Challenger, which is back on the back side of this. So can't quite see it yet, but getting close. At five miles, you are exactly about midway by the lake. I'm just above Willow Lake. I just took a little break. And now I'm gonna head up to Challenger Point up here. And then uh, this round top, Kit Carson. Now I'm at about 11.8. Got about 2,200 feet of elevation again. All right, stop to take a little rest. We're at 13.2 now, so we got another 800 feet to get up, right up around there. And then maybe get over to Kit Carson, we'll see. Whew. We're getting there, close. All right, just came up the gullies here, which are extremely steep and uh, pretty loose. This is the uh, saddle, Challenger Point saddle overlooking the San Luis Valley. Got the sand dunes in the corner, Mount Blanca, Ellingwood Point, Little Bear, and the valley floor. 13.875. So still got about 100 feet to gain in elevation just right up over this thing back behind me. Just came off of Challenger's Point. Now we're headed up to that little uh, gap right there. Kit Carson Avenue. So Kit Carson Avenue going up to the top. You can kind of go around the backside and you gotta climb up a gully. So it's another mile from Challenger's Point to Kit Carson. So it tacks on a total of extra two miles. All right, just came off the avenue. Back down behind me, gotta make this corner, head down the avenue that way, towards some rib rock, and then up the side. Whew. I hope I can do this one. This part is extremely sketchy. <sighs> We're at 1454, above 14,000 feet, just gotta make it to the summit, about another 100 feet of elevation gain. And we're there, so really, the last little push, feeling good too, surprisingly. Made it. To Carson Peak, baby. 14,165. Man, this one's a trip. Challenger right back behind me, right above my board. So I gotta go back down and then re summit Challenger. And then that's the last point of elevation, and then it's all downhill way off down over there to that lake. So, and then down, I think that lake is like five miles. So, oh. you climb it, you find it, and you sign it, baby. And then tag us on IG, let us know. Show us your pictures of the awesome summit that you did and the great accomplishment. Still hanging out up here, beautiful day. Got the crest stones behind me. All right.
right, Kit Carson, 14,165. I gotta go around this big knob here um, and then drop down and then re-summit that. I might work my way down and then back down to the lake down there and then out of here. Anyways, time to get out of here. Yeah, work your way down on the trail here to the corner and then we'll shoot down this gully on this side of this uh, rock here. I came up on the other side. I wanna go down this side. It's kind of hard to follow, but try to follow the Karens the best you can. Okay, just came down out of the gully. Back here at the prow. Whew. Just ascended the Kit Carson Ave. Coming back up, I gotta go ascend Challenger which isn't too bad and then get off a of challenger which is bad and then phew, easy breezy back to the truck all right well i re-summited challenger's point and i'm descending now sorry i didn't film anything at the top there's kind of a lot of people there and I just don't want to really bug them or, um, you know, be filming. I'm going to try to enjoy the, the summit. So now we got the gnarly descent. This part sucks. We got about 2,000 feet down. And then once we get down to the bottom by the pond and the lake, I mean, when we get to the lake, it'll be a lot easier. Okay. Just descended off of Challenger. I'm to the Challenger saddle now, which is really small. It's just this little like 10 foot wide area. All right, coming down this steep guy. I'm letting some people go ahead of me. Almost back to the lake. See it down there and you can see the waterfall running into it. So I'm gonna fill up my water right down there above the waterfall in that creek. Okay, I made it to the top of the waterfalls. Came down off of that guy up there. I descended the whole thing with no water, so I'm gonna get my sawyer out and fill up. Getting some snacks in. Got some fruit snacks. Fritos. Back to the truck. And I busted out the fruit snacks and the Reese's Pieces. Give me that sugar to get me home. One last look of the San Luis Valley before we drop down into the timber. We're gonna work our way down here. We'll follow the trees along to that park and we'll dive off boom right down to the truck about three miles left and a solid day so we got to be around 11 and a half miles This was a long one today. Holy cow. Probably gonna log like 15 miles today. So, me, Kit Carson, Challenger's Point, standard route. Left the trailhead at 6 a, or 7 a.m. Got back at 6.20. All right, just got back to the truck. I think it was like 11 hours and like 20-ish minutes of hiking. 15.21 miles total. So I had to tack on almost another uh, mile just from where I was parked because the lot was so full. So Challenger's Point is a beast. Kit Carson is not as hard. I don't really have much else to say. I'm just beat. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today while I uh, go on this hike. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. And maybe you learned a couple things. Or maybe you just got to see some sweet uh, scenery. 
it's a full day so if you want to go do challengers point and kick carson peak make sure either you got a full day to do it or camp at willow lake and then summit those two 14ers also bring lots of water with you i went through so much water today over three liters probably close to four liters five liters of water so make sure you bring lots of water and uh we'll see you guys on the next hike thanks for uh joining along